House Republican Conference Chairwoman. Elise Stefanik sits on the House Armed Services Committee. She joins us right now. Uh, Chairwoman, uh, good morning to you. How, so, you know, Joe Biden's already said, if that's what winds up on my desk, uh, I'm going to veto it. And Chuck Schumer in the Senate, and they control the Senate, says this uh, is a joke. Shame on Joe Biden and shame on Chuck Schumer. House Republicans understand how important it is to stand strongly with Israel. And it is the White House and the Democrat Senate that are politicizing the that are politicizing this issue. House Republicans are committing to passing this $14 billion aid package to make sure that we're supporting Iron Dome and getting the resources we need to Israel at a time of their greatest need, at a time when they faced a terrorist attack from Hamas backed by Iran. Full stop. So the fact that this White House is trying to politicize this issue, House Republicans will stand like a rock, as our newly elected Speaker Mike Johnson said, and we will get this done. What about uh, funding to Ukraine? That's not going to be tied into this bill. Uh, we think that is a very politicized issue. The White House has not answered questions as to how those dollars are going to be spent. What is the ultimate goal when it comes to Ukraine? The White House, not, White House has not answered those questions. When it comes to Israel, though, our most precious ally in the Middle East, we need to make sure that we're standing strongly and that people are going to have to make a decision. And boy, is it going to expose Democrats who vote no on this very straightforward package to support Israel. Uh, Congresswoman, uh, you know, on this program and I know up on Capitol Hill you've been talking about some of the comments from your colleague across the aisle Rashida Tlaib uh, where she has been uh, very critical of Israel in the wake of the Hamas attack. Yesterday Congress uh, the House of Representatives led by Republicans had a chance to cens censure her there's a resolution and yet 23 Republicans joined all the Democrats so that that would not happen. What happened? Well, I voted to censure Rashida Tlaib. Uh, she has been mimicking and parroting Hamas talking points. Uh, she refuses to correct her misinformation and terrorist propaganda, blaming Israel for uh, the explosion at the hospital when that was Hamas. That was a Hamas rocket that exploded at a hospital in Gaza. She has failed to take that down. She should be censured. I voted to censure her. The vast majority of Republicans did so. And every Republican is going to have to defend their vote to their constituents. I think you're absolutely Absolutely right. Meanwhile, let's talk about you personally. You attended Harvard, and I know you were horrified by some of the anti-Semitism coming out of uh, that very famous college up in Cambridge. It is inexcusable, and Harvard University has totally failed in terms of condemning the significant rise of anti-Semitism. That's right. why I led with my colleagues in the House who are also Harvard graduates, ranging from Ted Cruz to newly elected House member Kevin Kiley, strongly condemning President Claudine Gay. That's the president of Harvard's mm -hmm. handling of this. She put a task force in place. The students should be expelled who are not only uh, going after Jewish students, but also saying these heinous, horrific anti-Semitic comments. So shame on Harvard and all of these institutions for not taking a strong stance on this. We will put on the floor a resolution condemning anti-Semitism on college campuses, another area where Republicans will lead. All right. You've got a lot going on. Uh, Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, thank you very much for joining us from D.C. Thank you, Steve. All right.